Hi guys, I'm Shay Mitchell, and this is a photo of me from when I was 17. Yeah, I was having a little bit of an identity crisis. So that's what we're gonna be talking about today. Hey guys, it's Kirby. I'm here with Shay Mitchell, which I am so excited to have you, Shay, because I'm a huge fan. Thank you. And it's so nice that you're coming on Pretty Unfiltered because I know that your fans and our viewers are going to love everything you have to say. So you are a strong, powerful woman, in my opinion and lots of other people's opinions. so complimenting, I mean, I love it here. Yeah, you're like, <laughs> tell me more. But um, I'm sure you've gone through some insecurities, right? You know, the photo that I showed up earlier, mm -hmm. that was me when I was about 17, 16, 17. Mm -hmm. And that was a really difficult time. Clearly I looked a lot different than what I look like now. Yeah, you had blonde hair, you said you wore contacts, yeah, green, blue, blue, gray, you know, whatever I Why? was in the for. Um, because I didn't want to look like myself. And it sounds so crazy when I say that now because, you know, I don't dye my hair that much anymore mm -hmm. and I try and, you know, be as natural as possible. But when I was younger, I really did not want to look like myself. I didn't want to have tan skin. I wanted to have light eyes. I wanted my hair to be light. Um, I wanted to look like my friends. All of my good friends growing up were blonde haired. You know, I had light skin, fair yeah. complexions, and these beautiful light eyes. And I truly just wanted to fit in with them. So were you ever bullied for this? I think girls sometimes can just not be the nicest. Totally. And I think they pick on things that they know that you are insecure about. That's the worst, right? It's the worst. So yeah, high school was a little bit of a rough one for me. There was a lot of eating in the bathroom and that was kind of my safe place. The cafeteria for me was so terrifying to walk into. I just felt like all eyes were on you and um, the girls that weren't the nicest were always huddled together and so my safe spot was to eat my lunch in the bathroom. So at what point did you gain the confidence to embrace who you are and what you look like? I think as I got older, mm -hmm. I'd love to say that it happened in high school, but it really didn't. Yeah. You know, when I moved away um, from home, I kind of got to meet a lot of people outside of, of where I was from. And I got to travel to a lot of different places and I was exposed to different cultures where, you know, they celebrated different things and then, you know, they had different beauty ideas, what beauty was to them. and. Yeah. I really picked up on a lot of that and then I came back just like, why am I trying to change myself? You know, I should be so proud of who I am and what my heritage is. What piece of advice would you give your 16 year old self if you could go back? Celebrate your uniqueness. Do totally. not try to conform to what you think is beautiful or what everybody else is, you know, or, or what the media is projecting out there. Just celebrate who you are because there's only one version of you and that's kind of an incredible thing. What's the best piece of beauty advice you've ever received? It would probably be from my mom and I think you know, growing up, I'd always watch her putting on her makeup and everything, and I'd ask her why. And, you know, she would say to me, because I'm just enhancing what I have, that's what makeup is for. It's to enhance your features, not to hide them or cover them. Um, what a great mom quote. I, it was kind of amazing. Now, you know, that's kind of what I try and do. I never want to hide or cover up anything, and I think that a lot of girls, you know, with all these different YouTube vlogs mm -hmm. and how to do makeup and all that, I think that's awesome that they're experimenting with all that, but just know that you want to use it to enhance it, because you're so beautiful without all of this stuff. And finally, how do you find the confidence to go makeup free? Because when I see you on Snapchat and Instagram, like you have face masks on, you face are completely more. makeup free. <laughs> um, you know, I think it's because skin to me is really important. I try and take really good care of my skin. You and I can vouch. Your skin looks amazing, girl. <laughs> Thank Teaching you. Um, and that's why I was super excited. You know, I got to partner with Fiore, which is one of my favorite products. And I actually brought you <gasps> a couple today yes. to show you. I don't know if you've tried these. I haven't. I haven't, but I've smelled this one. It because you great. have the charcoal one, the charcoal line that I love. Yep. But then they came out with baking soda. And then these are the, their two products. So this is the cleanser, which you okay. can use every day. Perfect. And this is the scrub that I like to use, you know, two, three times a week. Okay. It's a gentle exfoliant. Um, but I think that, you know, it's really important when you take care of your skin to use products that work really well for you. Mm -hmm. And also just, you know, eating healthy, all that in moderation, some pizza, but water, you know, <laughs> water. Yeah, exactly. I think it's just really important because when you feel good, you know, bare face and adding the makeup and all that just enhances. This is perfect. Yeah. Shay, thank you so much. Thank Tell you. us where we can find you because you do have your own YouTube channel, yes. which is so much fun. So if you look at these links below, um, there's a link to my YouTube channel, which I love doing so much. Much. I mean, I know you guys have fun doing that here too. Yes. And it's just great because I get to take the fans on an experience and mm. they can come on a shakeation with me. They can learn new <laughs> tips and tricks and uh, 
DIYs. So yep. yeah, it's really, really fun. And then, you know, you can find me on Snapchat, Instagram, all that jazz. Great snapper too, have to say. Have Thank to vouch you. for Shay. I'm a big fan girl of yours, so obviously I'm just like loving this interview right now. <laughs> <laughs> but guys, let me know in the comment section below what you want to see on the next episode, what topics, what guests. We're going to try to get them on. Um, as always, you can follow me at Kirby Johnson and on Snapchat at Baby Wody. Can somebody please help me get at Kirby Johnson on Snapchat? <laughs> Anybody. Anybody, anybody. All right, guys, we'll see you next time. Bye.